Yeah, dude. Like last night, mm -hmm. she said it was way too big. No she way. She tried to grab it with two hands. Yeah. Oh, gee, dude. You think she's gonna be into me? I don't know. She doesn't like ugly people. So. Shit, man. She might be into you. Hey. Dude. Dude. I think I know. Sure, dude. Smells hella weird over here. No, it looks familiar, man. Did he pee himself? Maybe. I mean, should we go now? Nah, dude. Let's just go. Tony? Boo, your parts came in. They came in? Oh, thank God. Yo, guys, it finally came in. Let's open it up. Oh, oh shit, it's upside down. Made in China, just how I like it. So, I bought a oil cooler because I just like the way they look. Sick. Let's go, baby. So I guess it comes with the oil cooler. I believe it's like a 19 row, whatever. Uh, 19 row being how many rows it has, I guess. So the more the more rows you got, I guess the better it is. But I only had enough money for only 19 rows, so. Yeah, a lot of you guys have been saying uh, check out Mishimoto. Uh, I don't have money for Mishimoto. This is only $100, so I'm going uh, to install this. Give it like a week, and I'll give you guys like a little review. Uh, let's see what else they got. Cool. So I believe this goes onto your oil filter uh, uh, threading thing on the bottom of your motor like that and it kind of goes like that screwed on and then you got your inlet your outlet i don't know which one's the inlet which one's the outlet i'll figure it out in a second so it's like that i guess it comes with this as well so that your lines don't get all tangled up or stuff like that Let's see what's in this box oh look at these hoes Sick. Let's see where I should mount this. So I see a lot of cars they mounted right here, but I'm not gonna do that because that's just weird. It looks good on some cars, but 240, nah, I don't think so. Since the oil filter is like right on this side, the lines are probably gonna come through here, like that or something like that. So most likely, I'm gonna have it mounted like, like that. I think like that's perfect. You get the right amount of oil flow. If I can have it mounted like this, I think that would be perfect. Uh, so we might have to make some custom brackets and uh, yeah, let's take out this bumper so we got some more room to work with. But yeah, I did some research before I bought this oil cooler. It, it basically does what it says in the name. It cools down your oil, cools down your engine a little bit. So yeah, I mean, my car's overheating sometimes and uh, I know this is not gonna like fully fix the issue. Uh, there's probably like a leak somewhere in my coolant, but um, I've always wanted an oil cooler, so might as well install it and show you guys the process. <coughs> <coughs> Fail. All right, so I guess the first thing to do is to take out the oil filter and oil filter on the KAs are usually on the right side of the motor. So let's take that out. I got a little bucket underneath that will catch all the oil that will come out. I don't think all the oil is going to come out. I think just some of it. So uh, once that is off, then we can continue installing the, I think they call it a sandwich, sandwich plate, which is this right here. Then they gave us two of these uh, little adapters. So hopefully my 240 is at least one of them. If not, I'm gonna have to go out and go buy this. We'll see. All right guys, so a little moment of truth. Hopefully one of these fit. Hell yeah. The only thing we gotta figure out now is 
um, on the sandwich plate which one is the inlet and which one's the outlet. Uh, I tried searching for like an hour the other day, couldn't really find the answer, so uh, I'm gonna call up some homies and uh, let's see if we can find the answer. Oh, I don't know if this is meant to be used on these kind of things, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use it just so I don't get any leaks. Uh, I don't fully trust these uh, these threads right here um, because mainly because this is a really cheap brand and two as you can see when it's not on when it's threaded in it kind of still moves around so I feel like this is not like the right size the only thing protecting it from leaks is that o-ring but I know o-ring over time it kind of just gives out so we are just gonna add some thread lock just because oh cool now we're just gonna tighten this with a wrench and hopefully it stays tight all right so I believe it's a 24 mil yes yes it is uh, no leaks baby uh. right, so this is how it's supposed to look like I uh, can't really show you guys one I'm working so I'll just show you guys here and then I'll show you guys the results after so it's supposed it's supposed to go like this and this side goes into your oops wrong side like that this screws into the uh, the threading where the filter goes and then once this is locked on I guess this goes on like that so let me go throw this on real quick and then I'll show you guys sorry it's very blurry as you can see I have it installed the only issue that I'm coming across right now is these uh, inlet and outlets. They're kind of in like an awkward spot um, where my motor mounts mount to the engine block. It's kind of in the way. And uh, I believe these were supposed to be for the cooler, the little radiator looking thing. And these were, these were for the sandwich plate but I might just have to use these instead because of the uh, awkward angle inside. But let's see, let me go test this out real quick. All right guys, so I think I figured out which one is the inlet and which one's the outlet. I, it's it's kind of common sense. Um, oh, I just spilled oil all over the place. But um, basically how a filter works, the, uh, the oil goes in, filters out, and comes back like this comes out like that so since all the old oil is coming out this way it's probably getting filtered and then going into this channel right here coming out of here which means this is the outlet and it goes into your cooling system whatever and then it comes back in through the back right here it comes in through the back and then somehow back into your engine so I believe this is the outlet so I'm just gonna go with that if my car blows up then this is the outlet all right so I finally managed to get both of the lines on the inlet and the outlet but here's the catch um, that one's good but this one right here that one down there is going straight through my motor mount bracket it's going through the bottom and then it's coming out that way uh yeah uh i hope that's okay i mean shit i think it'll be fine but usually when somebody installs a oil cooler they also pick up a oil relocating kit so i should have done that and have my oil filter like right here but uh this will be okay for now all right since that is done uh i'm not gonna put the oil filter on just yet i'll wait till later Guess it's time to get started on the front. These hoses are extra long, so we might have to cut it. All right, you know what, guys? I'm gonna place it right in front of the radiator, just because. I guess when it starts coming through the other side, I guess that's when you stop. Watches this thing. Oh. 
Oh fuck, it's blue. Oh no. No. Yeah, no spills. This one goes here. And that one goes there. Cool, let me get my wrench and we can tighten this down. Almost forgot about this. Let's put this like somewhere right here. Or, yeah, let's just put it right, let's just put it right here. Woo! All done, baby. Let's, uh, let's start her up and see if we leak any oil. If we leak any oil, I'm gonna kill myself. So we're testing the car right now. I'm gonna leave it on for like a couple minutes, see if it leaks. If it doesn't, then we're good. Oh no. Oh no. No. I'm dripping so much oil, but I think I know where it's coming from. Uh, remember the, um, remember the, uh, the little gold looking nut that holds the sandwich plate to the actual oil filter spot? Well, I don't think I tied that down. So we're gonna take out the oil filter right now and uh, give it a little more. Hopefully it works. Why does everything I touch break? Fuck. We're back home and I was right. Did not tighten down that bolt right there. It's so loose. Oil is just shooting all over the place. Good thing it's that little piece that's not tying all the way. I thought it was. I thought it could. I, could, I thought it could have been worse. I did buy a really cheap oil cooler kit, so I think after I fix this tomorrow, we'll give it another test run, drive around, see how it goes. All right, guys. Well, it's all torqued down. I'm gonna get some rest. We're gonna end today. We'll continue tomorrow. All right, that's it for today. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I am back and it's freaking hot today. Let's head to the warehouse and see if there's any leaks. Dude, shift knob is so freaking hot. Good thing I bring two, or I have two in my car. Look at how shaky the motor is. I think it's time for a rebuild. All right, so I think I found the source of the leak. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to use Teflon tape. I did some research. They say it's okay to use, so yeah. So this goes to show, don't cheap out on parts, kids. I guess I don't really have to do a review on this oil cooler anymore because as you can see, it's not working pretty well, but it's going on the 240 regardless. All right, everything's put back together. Let's give it one more try. Hope for the best. Actually, guys, good news. It's not leaking anymore. That, that oil was actually from being dirty. So, yes, finally. Uh, I guess we're good. Uh, I got one more thing, though. I got a package from uh, Dom. He was the guy that sent me these LEDs. He sent me new ones because he noticed that they were kind of broken at Weekfest. So, yeah, he sent me new ones. Let's go check them out real quick. Let's open these up. Again, huge shout out to Dom for doing this for me. Too nice, bro. Uh, here are the new ones. But yeah, for some reason, uh, during week fest, my lights were working just fine. But then as soon as we got there, uh, something happened. And now my signals don't work, my hazards don't work. And my brake lights don't work, so. There has to be a short somewhere. Let's take out these old lights and uh, see if that has a short or something. I don't know, we'll see. Let's... So here are the old ones. Here's a new one. I'm not sure what this is, but hopefully it helps with my shorting issue or something like that. My signals are finally working, but hey Dom, if you're watching this, that one is still not working. I don't know why. I mean, the lights turn on though. 
Oops. 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 So signaling on the left. And it blinks. It blinks white. I'm not sure what's going on. But uh it's cool. Thank you. Alright, so uh, all of a sudden my uh, bumper light decided to work, so we're all good, Dom. Thanks, man. So I got some really bad news. I was driving around the block and it started to leak again, so uh, I'm probably going to have to buy some new hose because I think that's where the source of the leak is. But I'm going to save that for another day. We got another homie that's about to pick up a 240. I want to go with him and uh, check out the car, so let's go. <laughs> Fuck Dodgers. Polish and a turd. It's all about Chevy. Oh, sir, I'm gonna need you to leave. <laughs> Where are we going? We better go pick up a 240 right now. I'm trying to join the gang. Skirt! I don't know shit about 240s though, so Skirt. that's why I gotta bring everybody. I don't know shit about 240s too. Everything keeps on breaking on me. Oh my god. Holy shit. What the? Bro, aren't you on bags? No. Again. Yeah. Oh, your lip is gone. Oh, is it really? No. <laughs> Yo, bro, I got boost, man. Hey, you make boost? You know, you, oh, you make booze? Bruh, you gotta make booze, bro. A little bit. Yeah, go SR. Just go SR. You want a Subi too? Oh shit, don't tell me that fucking battery dead again. We'll tow it home. What's up, what's up? Hell no. Fake, get the big 80. Starting worse than I thought. Are you going SR, right? No, I'm gonna keep this, bro. Really? What the hell? Yeah, it's, you want me to go SR, so you want this. Check out this paint job. It's not bad. The KAT actually sounds and feels really good. Uh, it's really motivating me more to actually really do it. Like, really, really do it. I was up until like 5 a.m. last night doing research on KATs, and um, it's gonna be a lot of work. So, if you can tell, Boo is driving Hong's Sobro. I'm in the fucking back because all this fucking. How did I put the fucking shit on? Uh. Hey, babe. Ow! What are you doing? Oh, Ow! Look at this. This is all. Look at that. You can't even fucking sit down. Oh, yeah. Hello, boys. Tell them what happened? Yeah, too low. I, I <laughs> Out here, you know what I mean? Um, I'd have to raise it. I have to raise it up. Alright guys, so that's it for today's vlog. Uh, the next couple days I'll be helping out Hong fix up the 240. So I'm gonna take a break from my car. I need a break from my car, it's been giving me a headache. Uh, but that's it's gonna give me enough time for me to uh, save up enough money and pick up that new KA that I've been talking about. 
Uh, that motor is going into my 240 and the motor that's in the 240 right now that's coming out and I'm going to rebuild that for turbo so hope you guys are excited uh, that's all I got I'll see you guys in the next video peace